I'm going to graph points corresponding to a set of ordered pairs. If we start by being given a linear equation to a graph, and this is we can tell this by noting that x and y cannot have an exponent greater than 1, we can first select nice x values and find their corresponding y values. Second, we can plot these points on a graph, and third, connect them by a straight line using a ruler. Let's start with the equation 2x minus y equals 6. And after setting up a table of values, we want to graph it. So what we're going to do is let x be a nice convenient value. I like to start with 0 because it's easier to work with. Let's take the original equation, replace x with 0, minus y equals 6. Everything else is exactly the same. 2 times 0 is 0. 0 minus y is negative y equals 6. Negative y is the same as like a negative 1y equals 6. So we divide both sides by negative 1. We get y equals negative 6. So we have if x is 0, y is negative 6. Let's pick another value for x. Let's suppose x equals 1. Same game plan, 2 times 1 minus y equals 6. 2 minus y equals 6. Let's subtract 2 from both sides of this equation. So we have negative 1y equals 4. Let's divide by negative 1. So y equals negative 4. So our x was 1 and our y is negative 4. Let's let x equal to 2. So we have 2 times 2 minus y equals 6. 4 minus y equals 6. Let's subtract 4 from both sides of the equation. Negative 1y equals 2. y equals negative 2. So we have x is 2. y is negative 2. And let's try one more value, x equal to 3. So we have 2 times 3. Notice all we're doing is replacing the x with the value that we select for x. Minus y equals 6. 6 minus y equals 6. Subtract 6 from both sides. Negative 1y equals 0. So y equals 0. So we have 3 and 0 here. So now let's plot the points that we have in our table, 0, negative 6. Please notice here that the x values each space stands for 1, but the y values each space stands for 2. So we have 0, negative 6, be down here, 1, negative 4, be here, 2, negative 2, would be here, 3, 0, would be here. So we take a straight edge and connect not just the points, but going beyond it from each direction. Usually we get in the habit of writing the equation across so that we can identify it. Later on we'll have more than one equation to work with. Many times solving for y in a linear equation makes it easier to set up a table of ordered pairs or even use a graphing calculator. First we move the x terms to the right by doing its opposite. Second we divide all the terms by the numerical coefficient of y. So let's see if we can change 2x minus y equals 6, our equation from above, into the y equal form. And then if we have a graphing calculator, we can check our work on the graphing calculator. So if we have 2x minus y equals 6. So the first thing we're going to do is move the x term. So let's minus 2x from both sides of the equation. 2x minus 2x is 0, so we're left with negative y or negative 1y. Now we can't put numbers and letters together, so let's write the x term down first, and it's assumed to be a positive 6. Now the next thing we want to do is get rid of the negative 1. Let's divide this through by negative 1, this by negative 1, and this by negative 1. So negative 1 divided by negative 1, so our new equation is y equals negative 2 divided by negative 1 is 2x minus 6. This is the equation that's very convenient to use in your graphing calculator or for setting up a table.